Hello. All right. Where are you then? What's uh, what's the story? Well, second day, second interview. It's going well so far. A second so, day. Uh, yeah. A second interview at this. Oh yes. I mean, are you going to tell me any more about it? What is going on over there? It's very, you know, it's very hush hush. They don't want me to say anything, so uh, oh, I've got to keep it quiet, right. Really. So yeah. Okay. So. Mm. Well, did I just hear? No. no? Brilliant. Didn't hear anyone there. That okay. Was just me in the room. All right, Mr. Sports News, I will see you tomorrow, or at least sometime early next week. It's a big game today, so a big games today. So Yeah, well, I hope it goes well for you. So. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine. Do you want me to travel back and help you out? Or? There'll be no need for that. <laughs> ah, good good funny there. Mm. It wasn't a joke, I mean. All right, bye. Yeah, bye. yeah, bye. Bye. Is she that? That's disgusting. Oh. Oh, this is just something we won yesterday. So, uh, I mean, spoiler. Realise if you didn't see yesterday's episode, that is a rather large spoiler. I mean, look at the bloody size of it. It's, it's massive. It's got a piece of my head. Oh, it's not actually. That's annoying. I'll pop that down there. Hello there, folks. Welcome back to the end of season running with Shelburne FC. Uh, now, things have been hotting up recently, haven't they? After our cup final winning at Derry City, we have three fixtures today to end the season and hopefully get ourselves the promotion we've all been wanting. Uh, Waterford, Longford and Cambinterley are the teams we play. And that's interesting because Longford, a team, as I mentioned, we play today, are right behind us. 48 points, the same as us. If you bring up the league table in full, you can see it there. Um, while they score, they score far more goals than us, our defence has been far tighter this year. Uh, I think our two centre-backs have been a key to that. And uh, I'm hoping today things can go rather well. Waterford and Cambinterley aren't that good. And Longford... Yeah, it could go either way. We'll have to wait and see. So, let's crack on then. Let's get into our first game and show you today's team. Now, annoyingly, we've had to do a little switch around today because of the suspension to Connor Byrne. O'Connor has to go into right back and Subawali drops into the centre-back role. He's been, he's been a stalwart of the side, so it makes sense to carry on playing him in this team. Uh, Gareth then is going to be on the right-hand side of midfield with Cassidy and McAvoy. Porter behind Johnny English and O'Hanlon. Uh, hopefully, Chris Lyons will play a part at some point. He's only, he's only got a day left of his injury, so he should be back. Hopefully, we'll get him back in the side. Uh, First-choice goalkeeper, Paul Skinner. Probably won't return. Maybe play the last game of the season. We'll have to wait and see. Still out, though, between 12 days and three weeks, so it seems unlikely. Uh, it's the 25th of September. Seems weird, doesn't it? This isn't the usual time to end a, se uh, a season, but this is the time right now. Just quickly as well, uh, we've got our intake since we last met too. David Sheridan, apparently, is the best of the bunch. Looks like a decent striker. Five foot nine, uh, 16 years of age. Got a little bit of pace about him. Decent finishing. Needs to improve those mentals, but overall, doesn't look too bad. So you might see him in the future at some point. He was the, uh, the only real star out of the side, though. David Sheridan. There he is. I thought you might be interested. And let's go into the game then. Waterford are the opposition. We've got to start well. That's important. Any any mistakes from us will surely be punished by Longford. But of course, we do have the advantage of playing them at some point. So hopefully, if things do go awry in this game, we can pull it back by just beating them. Uh, so you can see that they're playing a 4-2-3-1. We're playing the 4-3-1-2. Three game episode. Let's do this. I should say, unless whatever happens, happens before we get there. So if by game two, it's over in any respect... We'll just, we won't play the third one. It'll be too embarrassing. I mean, actually, if it goes to the third one, that's going to hurt. Now, I've got a slight issue here with the fact that they're on a long pitch. This isn't Longford, this is Waterford, but they're still using a long pitch. So what I'll do is I'll minimise all of this, which adds to the suspense of the other games as well. Uh, we are in the reds then, shooting from right to left, as they play a wonderful ball through to Wall, who is in on goal. He's, well, a strike, a stri oh, blimey, a strike comes in. Uh, Murray, though, with a good save. Goodness gracious. Da -da -da. Oh, that's not a good corner. No, it's not. Uh, Walsh, interesting, was our former captain. But moved on. Now, I've started attacking structures. Instructions have been as normal. I'm just wondering if it's worth coming out of attacking. Well, here we are. Chance, perhaps. Gareth lays it off to Cassidy. Strike on Cole. What a strike it was. Fires it in. Uh, it puts us 1-0 up. David Cassidy, what a strike. I mean, he was a singer from sort of the I mean, the last the last sort of century, I'll say. That seems like a long time ago now, doesn't it? Uh, regardless, he's, you know, he scored a goal here today. We wish him well. We wish him well. Just well done, David. You can see the three dimensions then. The ball is laid off by Gareth and Cassidy. Whoa. Okay, half time is edging closer. A very quick first half. Apart from that goal, little to no highlights really, apart from that one chance they had, which was saved by Murray. And there we are then. Half time is upon us. I'm going to be assertive, I think. You've played well so far, but there's still room for improvement. And then passionately tell them pretty much the same thing, just in a different tone. And that seems to work. Okay, come on then. Half a, half a game to go. Uh, I was going to say half an hour, but that would be incorrect because games aren't an hour long. They're actually 45 minutes each half, which comes to 90. And that's, I mean, again, we're not just playing football manager, but we're learning about the rules of football. 
Now, Hanlon with some good hold-up play. Fagan, of course, who will lose next season. Plays it into Porter. Gareth's on it. He's got a three-ball if he wants to find it. Doesn't pick it out. Decides to go back inside to Cassidy. Gareth now into Porter. Back to McAvoy. Working this very nicely indeed. Cassidy gets tackled, though. And now uh, they might bring this away. Wall with the ball over the top to Sheedy, who could be through on goal. Shot on goal. Murray with a good save. And uh, it remains 1-0. Corner ball played in. McAvoy with it. Oh, Salab uh, Salabawali nearly had a shot. A chance. Johnny Ing! <laughs> A man for all seasons loves them and near them alone. So alone. And who am I and what will I do when he scores goals straight past you? He scored a goal and I've got the flu. Watch out because I've got allergies. You are at risk if you're in in the room. It's a remix. What can I tell you? 2-0 then and uh, that seems to have, have well I mean 2-1 then. It seemed to encourage them a little bit. We'll come off attacking. We'll go for a more standard uh, pattern of play. 25 minutes or so left to go. Just Let's just hold on to this win, please. It's a good, it's a good ball over the top. We're left horrendously exposed. And uh, the strike is decent. Okay. Question is, do we make a couple of changes? That's the question, I think. Do we bring Ramadan on? I mean, he's a... He's an option, and Hanlon's not done that much, really. So we'll, we'll bring on the striker. We'll play him in a more advanced area. And uh, maybe on the counter-attack now, maybe on the break, we'll get the opportunity to get in. But, oh, I forgot. Okay, O'Connor's done well. The out ball has to be good, and he finds Johnny English. Now, if Porter can get up and support, this is a three-on-three, -three, and it certainly is. Johnny English now, two in the middle to aim for. Takes in his man. He's got two options. Oh, it's, oh, it's a deflection off Meyer. Johnny English doesn't get the goal, so we play no music, and we do no singing. But what we will do is cheer the fact that it's 3-1. And uh, this game, with about 10 minutes to go, looks all but over. Johnny English skips past that defender who slides in recklessly. The uh, the cross comes in. Not sure it would have found that it's in intended target, but it goes past Fagan in the Waterford net. And that puts us 3-1 up. And the, t the time is nearly done. Lethal on the counter-attack as the time ticks away. Some of Ali's bring greater centre-back, it has to be said. 3-1 at the Regional Sports Centre, which sounds like... Just, just sounds like a leisure centre, doesn't it? And there we are then. Three on winners. And uh, we got what we wanted tonight. A thoroughly professional job. Well done. The question is, what happened elsewhere? We didn't have it up on screen. So, oh, interestingly, that was our game in hand. How did I not notice that? Okay. Well, that now puts us three points ahead, which means if we beat Longford, game over. Season done. Lose to Longford. That's not the case. Right. Uh, I don't know when our next game is. It's probably in about three weeks. No, it's on the Saturday. That was a Tuesday night game. So I'll see you in about six to four days. I sound like a doctor. What's up in the... Oh, irony. Oh, apparently. Oh, this is exciting. Team meeting. Oh, yes. Okay. We've worked all season to put ourselves one away from the title. Go out there. Make that final jump to become champions. That's not what I was expecting. I mean, 14 players have gone motivation thank you 12 players have gone oh my god the pressure which is not good i respect those that don't agree with me although i wish you'd you know man up a bit oh the pressure oh i can't handle the pressure shut up okay game two and actually sort of mass change has happened because of the uh the recall of burn after his suspension o'connor goes back into the middle next to heenley fagan at left back murray is still in goal cassidy then moves across a little bit subawali then plays in the center uh i'm thinking gareth or owen now i'm taking gareth out he's not really done anything owen's actually going to play instead owen porter uh chris Lyons comes back in plays up front alongside a hanlon johnny english ready and waiting as ever as any agent should be uh, to come on if needs be. Okay then, Longford the opposition, let's get this. A win secures the title after yesterday's episode. This could be magnificent. They're playing three strikers up top. That, I dare say, influenced what I'm now doing with my sort of three up top as well. And, uh, oh, this is going to be a battle of the ages. Okay then, here we go. Longford playing against Shelburne FC. Can we get back to the big time? I mean, Shelburne have been there before. Can we get them back there once again? Ooh, I'm excited. All right, well, Porter. Free kick played in. O'Connor was there. Oh, oh, Jamie Mulhall has given away a penalty kick. What an idiot. But this gives us a huge chance. Our number four seems to be coming for it. No, someone while he's not taking it. Chris Lyons back from injury. He's been out for a little while. Has he been practicing penalties on the training ground? That's the big question. Number 16 then for Shelburne. Can he put us 1-0 up and give us the lead? Sh Lyons steps up. Oh, it's a great penalty. Let's, let's face it. What a goal from Chris Lyons. 1-0 Shelburne. That is the perfect start to a perfect day. It's such a perfect day. I want to spend it with... You busy? Oh, bloody hell. 35 minutes gone. Little to no action. We'll take a six-point lead here. I mean, that is... With one game to go, that can't be, that can't be topped. I realise now, actually, 
that with the advantage we have, a draw wouldn't be that bad either. That probably gives us the win. If we take a quick look at the goal difference here, you can see we've got a, a slightly superior goal difference, which is almost like an extra point in many ways. As, uh, well, Longford looked to come forward, but O'Connor hammers it back in. O'Hanlon, well, he's... he's M M Vita, Rivita, is that? Who's that down the bottom there? He cleared it, but we come back again. Porter, he's got options. A hand in the target man. Where, can he can he lay this off? He's been tackled by Rivita, who powers it forward. Murray, though, will claim. And now, can he pick out the perfect delivery? Here we go then, Murray. Where's it going? It's up forward towards Chris Lyons. It's, it's intercepted. And now they've got the spare man. Three strikers are causing all sorts of problems. Sanford with a shot on goal. Murray with a good save. A little bit of pressure late in the half, but we've held on. Lovely stuff. Okay, half time. Team talk. We've gone for a, a calm or happy performance keep it up approach. And it's gone okay. A hand on a book in. We'll bear that in mind. Johnny English, of course, can come on at any point and cause defences problems no end. I mean, if we. Uh, from this position now, six points clear. If we don't get the automatic promotion, that will be not surprising to many of you, but disappointing. Free kick. McAvoy. I'll say, I'll say no more. I mean, I've not been this happy since we won a certain trophy. Where'd that come from? Certain trophy. Good grief. I actually don't have a league title trophy anywhere. Oh, bloody hell. I've got this. Oh, God. Is it too early to think of that? What a free kick, by the way. I've got the F2 Freestylers book. Can we maybe... Does that count? I mean, it's a good book, but it's not a trophy, is it? Burn into McAvoy. This could wrap it up. Oh, what a strike off the post. I still haven't found a trophy. I think this is as good a time to, as any to announce that the league have a new sponsor. And that sponsor is LucasAid. So congratulations to us. I mean, it's 50 minutes to go, Ben. Put that down. Bloody hell. What am I, what am I doing here? Tempting fate or what? A Hanlon, though, on it. Plays it through to Porter. He's lost out there. I might bring Johnny English on just to settle things. Actually, we're going to come off attacking as well. Switch up to standard as uh, O'Connor and O'Connor battle. Cohen now. McAvoy. Oh, my. That would have been an embarrassing moment. Right, points remain the same. Goal difference doesn't matter too much. I mean, there's no time left. This could be This could be it, boys. This could be it. And girls, 2%. 2% of you. So Probably it's only mum's accounts, aren't you? Anyway, Fagan with a throw in. And we lift it. Double winners. The Lucas Aid Sport Irish Premier is it Premier? What is it? No, it's the first division, isn't it? Hang on a second. Fair with the way you played. Well done, everyone. Congratulations, we've won the bloody title. Hold on, just give me just give me a second. So the Lucas Aid Sport Irish First Division winners, I can confirm that now. We lift the trophy. I mean, double winners. Take a take a picture. Put it in the album. There we are. Lovely stuff. Ben Sports News is gonna be well jealous. And there we are then. What an end to what has been a fantastic season. We go up, the board have set the budgets. We've got a transfer budget of £6,000. £6,000? £6, the, uh, the initial wage budget has gone through the roof. An extra £6,000 on top of that. So all sorts of things could be happening. We will stay at Shelbourne for another year if it's the right decision. Uh, now, next episode will be interesting. I, I don't know what the next episode is going to be. It might be, I've been offered this job. What do you think? Please tell me your opinions. It might be that, but it might just be uh, the end of the season. We're not going to play the final game. No need. Uh, we could lose it if we like. And I should say here, boys, what an end to the season from our lads. I mean, that is superb. Start of the season pretty well. Friendly, lots of cup wins. Went through a very sort of indifferent, patchy middle. And then the end of the season, two draws, undefeated for the final, whatever that is, sort of 11, 12 games, which is fantastic stuff. And uh, this team really have grown into their own. Some great performances this season in terms of goals. Uh, 15 for O'Hanlon, 15 for Lions, 9 for Johnny English, who outstayed with us from last season, of course. Assists, they're all up there too. And uh, I mean, in terms of average rating, Stephen Kelly, who didn't play that often, had a pretty high average rating. Probably should have played him more, who knew? And uh, yeah, you can expect Heenley, our centre-back, also superb. Low heading and quite a lot of ones in there, but you can see the key attributes really making the difference. And that then does bring us to the end. If you've enjoyed today's video, Please do leave a like if you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. And uh, yeah, why not share the series with a friend today? We'll call it Friend Friday. Why not?